Hello everyone. Let's. I'll show you something. I've created some utility for trading forex using ordinary joystick. So now I'll show you how this program looks. It's it's code actually a visual coding in Hyacinth Studio. Let's launch it and compile. So here's this program. When you start at first, it's without shortcuts, as you can see here. But let's we show how to assign some shortcuts. First, you take plug in your joystick ordinary, which you use for gaming, and then start pressing the buttons you need to assign the shortcut. For example, now I press left lower button its ID is 256 so it's triggers only once so let's assign something to it let's give it a name cell for example a Russian language let's switch to English or cell Let's give it a, a shortcut. You just select this and input. Go to this field and then <sighs> press your shortcut on the com computer keyboard. Let's play Control and S. So a sign is ready. Let's make another sign. This time right button. I press it. Its ID is 512. Let's select it and give it shortcut control and B. So control is this there. Let's give it a name by. So let's give it an assign to close all button. This will be some button, for example, this one. ID is one. Let's give it shortcut. Control, close, close all. So it's okay. Now we can, for example, create some another shortcuts. But if you don't want, don't need it, we just select it and click delete that line. Then we can save assignment. For example, joystick to so we can load different assignments for different programs so now it's okay we can this button clears all list this is how to uh, some kind of a help file so let's go trading now I use a program called Forex tester for this purpose it has um, it has some shortcuts already defined here on the control B and control S so let's check how it works first we need let's stop it from start that first we press connect then we choose some data range and start testing so testing began let's adjust speed to a bit slower so now we even uh, can keep this window and banger in the background it's okay so let's see how it works so we were using average strategy so I press always LX pressing buy first buy so let's accelerate our trading a bit so we can close let's buy again You can also <coughs> click sell, but we don't need sell. 
and close all others at once. Let's buy again and buy again, buy again. You can do it as quickly as you want, and then you close it someday. Let's accelerate our trading to the maximum. So let's buy again. It's an averaging. The more you place orders, the more profitable it will be. The chances. Let's see our deposit, uh, our money. Yes, it's risky. Let's close all and we winners. Let's see how we profit. A lot of jump. So now we we're selling. No, we're buying always. Let's do it again. Buy. Buy. No, it's <laughs> it's a little bit like pyramiding now. Buy. Buy. We're always buying to the positive swap. Um, presumably, if you have swaps on your USD positive, when you buy, then you can use this um, type folder. If there's positive on sales, then you can use sales. <laughs> so this way, <coughs> you can trade virtually at any speed now I'll show you how quickly you can close and you can also use this uh, shortcut to joystick uh, signer for any other program for example a meta trader also has mm, uh, sh uh, ability to make shortcuts to various scripts so this time it's very handy indeed for this purpose. Such an unsteady forex. <sighs> yes. Mm. Just go higher, please. Give me some chance to gain my bread and butter. The patience is a very crucial, very important thing when trading. As you can see, there's a flat over here, flat line, r ranging markets, for example. Now it's going higher and we can close it, because we don't know whether it will be go higher a little bit or not let's see what happens we can close this order also so let's trade for selling for example sell